one of the most important factors in motivating staff and employees and colleagues are the particular characteristics of the job that you're setting them. This is the conclusion of Richard Hackman and Greg Oldham, and that's what we'll look at in this video. Richard Hackman and Greg Oldham started from a simple assumption that we get an intrinsic reward when we complete a task. And this will be familiar to anyone who's seen our video on David McClelland. This is the need for achievement at play. But what is it that motivates us to take on the task in the first place? That's what Hackman and Oldham looked at. They considered a motivating potential, which they calculated based on three principal needs. The first of these needs is meaning. And meaning is something we look at in our video on Daniel Pink's Motivation 3.0. He identifies meaning as one of his motivational drivers. Hackman and Oldham thought that meaning came through the combination of three things. The first was the extent to which we identify with the completed piece of work. If we see our job as just being one small cog in a big machine, then we can't identify with the whole piece of work. But if we're able, at the opposite extreme, to start the piece of work and see it through to final completion, then that gives it a greater sense of meaning. The second element of meaning that they found was variety. The more variety we have in the work we're able to do, in the different tasks we take on and the skills we acquire, then the more meaning our work has. And finally, there's significance. The end significance of the product that we produce. Does it have a real purpose? Does it make a difference? And a difference that counts. So the first component of motivating potential is meaning, and the second one is autonomy. And for Hackman and Oldham, autonomy is about our sense of responsibility for the work that we're doing. If we feel we have complete responsibility for it, we have the ability to make choices and decisions as we go, then that's a high level of autonomy, and that is motivating. And again, Pink talks about this in his idea of motivation 3.0, and he gets it from Ryan and Detch's self-determination theory. So we're starting to see our different models of motivation tie together very nicely. So what's the third component of motivating potential? The third component is feedback. The extent to which we're able to get good quality feedback about the work that we're doing leads to greater motivation. And this can be good quality feedback from an observer, but better yet, it's the feedback we're able to gain ourselves about our own performance. The better I understand how I'm doing, then the better I will be able to do my work and the more motivating I will feel it. So motivating potential in Hackman and Oldham's model is the product of three factors meaning, autonomy, and feedback. And meaning itself is a, an average of three factors, identity, variety, and significance. And Hackman and Oldham had a simple contention. Higher motivating potential leads to greater motivation, which leads to better performance and higher quality work, lower levels of absenteeism, and lower staff turnover. And it seems to me this is a very practical model of motivation for you as a manager, because these are things that you have in your control. You can give work meaning by giving people responsibility end to end for a piece of work, by giving them the ability to make their own choices, the autonomy. You can give them variety of work, of course, and you can give them good quality feedback, or better still, give them the resources to gain that feedback for themselves. 
So Hackman and Oldham's model of motivation is all about the characteristics of the job. And if you can put in place the right job characteristics for the people who work for you, they'll be better motivated to do a good job and they'll get a higher level of satisfaction for the work that they do. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.